Welcome to Multimodal 2021. And I'm joined here by David Huck, the Managing Director of Peel Ports Group. Welcome, David. Thank you. Um, I'd like to talk to you about Peel Ports. If you could just uh, tell us exactly what the, what the group does. Um, Peel Ports Group is one of the, the largest ports uh, groups in, in, in the UK. Um, we operate 19 ports and terminals across the UK and, and Ireland. Um, we, we're also the statutory harbour authority for seven uh, major UK uh, gateways. Um, also within our, our portfolio we have BG uh, Shipping Line, uh, Pill Ports Logistics and a very, very, very diverse cargo mix. So one of the, probably the most diverse cargo mixes across the, all the UK port sector. Oh, that's very good to learn. What does multimodal mean for you and for your business? I think ultimately it's an opportunity to showcase our, our business, um, to perhaps uh, impart the latest technologies, the latest innovations, the latest customer solutions to our client base and, and really to share that uh, you know, quite openly amongst our peer group but, but, but also generally as an industry. Uh, multimodal is a great platform to, to showcase any business and I think particularly for, for our sector having some of the challenges we've all experienced over the last 12-18 months. It's a good opportunity to uh, dust ourselves down and, and, and move forward with some, some great innovation and, and, and really just the, the latest developments in our business. It's great to hear. Um, what challenges uh, has your business faced over the last two years? I think undoubtedly our, our sector um, has, has had a very, very important job to do over the last two years. Um, the impact of COVID is, is unprecedented. and. You know, I think when, when COVID first hit our, our business, along with, with all UK ports uh, businesses, you know, we, we realised straight away we had a very, very important job to do. Uh, we had to keep the, the country uh, fed, we had to keep pharmaceuticals moving, and we had to keep energy and, and critical supply chains moving. And like all UK ports, we stepped up to that challenge. Um, you know, right, right across our business, everyone worked every single day, right from our executive leadership team, right across the whole, whole business. And, Real, really challenging times, particularly in the early days, um, but, but absolutely delighted that uh, we came through COVID very, very well. More importantly, we, we stuck to our investment plans. In fact, in some cases, we actually accelerated our investment plans, and that's really put us in good stead for where we are now. And, and those investments and those fast track investments that we put through during the last 18 months have, have held us in, re put us in a really good position for now and as we move forward. That leads me to my next question, uh, a bit more crystal ball. Uh, what do you think, what faces you and the industry ahead over the next 12 months? I think undoubtedly it's, it's unprecedented the uh, challenges in the logistics environment at, at the moment uh, with global port congestion, some of the global impacts of, of Covid, uh, Brexit, haulage driver shortages. So there's a number of external factors that, that ports really are not in a, a significant place to, to influence. What we've got to do is, is respond and, and, and you know, maintain that ultimate flexibility, that agility to respond to the changes in the marketplace. But by putting in the extra capacity that we've done across the group, we will really be able to offer something very, very different as we move forward uh, through the next challenging months and, 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 and out into the new year and beyond. Can you say a little bit more about that expansion and, and what it means for the customers? Um, you know, just, just we, we look at it in, in three key areas. You know, we, we invest in our people, our processes and our technology. And ultimately that investment about our customers. Um, you know, we're not you know, just strictly a port operation. We're very much about logistic solutions, the whole supply chain, you know, where we can create added value for our customers and differentiate in, in the marketplace. So, so that investment in those three key areas enables us to do that. So people shouldn't just consider you a port-centric group, it, it's the whole range of services? Far, far much. Certainly in the, the Peel Ports DNA is, is, is far more expansive than just being a, a port uh, and, 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 a, and a, a base solution provider. We're very, very integrated right across supply chains uh, with lots of different things to our portfolio, different sub-brands, different capabilities, um, but really part of our, our DNA is, is not just about being a port, but it's expanding it across different modes, different solutions, different technologies and, and more innovation. I've been surprised, I'd expected a more downbeat approach at Multimodal looking, looking ahead, but there's been lots of optimism at many of the seminars and you seem as if you're very optimistic, at least 12 months and beyond? 
very optimistic. Um, you know, as I say, we, we've really pushed on throughout the, the, you know, the last 12, 18 months with COVID, with our investment plans. We've just brought in you know, additional capacity into Liverpool too, the UK's latest deep water container terminal. Um, we've brought a lot more uh, automation into some of our, our processes, some of our technologies significant investment in our, our people. We've brought over 150 new jobs uh, just in the last six months alone and already have plans for another 150 uh, jobs going forward uh, you know, and in a short horizon space. So really, really pushing on uh, you know, and, and, and gaining more market share, offering you, something different. You sound very optimistic, David. Thank you, sir. Thank you.